First, I'm honored to be across from you, Harrison. Uh, it's great. You've done a lot of great movies that I've watched and enjoyed and watched over and over. I was surprised to learn that this is the first historic character you've played. You know, it's not entirely true, but this is the first time I've tried to represent that character uh, uh, physically. Maybe that's what people are talking about. Oh, okay. Um, I don't think it would have served the film to, to carry all the baggage of, the, of people's experience with me in the other kinds of movies that I've done into this film. And I wanted to, I wanted to uh, uh, change my physical appearance and my vocal characterization to more closely match that of, of Branch Rickey. How does that feel for you as an actor, though, when you could get lost in the physical and other parts of it? Does it it's give great. You, it's, it's great. It's great. It's great. It's yeah. fun. It was fun for me. Yeah. Um, and uh, but uh, you know the the story is a thing, and uh, I was really attracted to this by a story that I thought was powerfully told yeah. about something really important. Why was baseball the perfect sport for this? Why not hockey or tennis or something well, else? Well, because, you know, the, the color barrier was, this is true stories, mm -hmm. and this is the real story of American history. And I think it's important to remind ourselves from time to time about the, about the injustices that still uh, reside in our country and eliminating them working on eliminating them. Right. So this is a great moment of uh, uh, overcoming um, uh, injustice, and there's work to be done. So let's be reminded by our history that th that, that obligation is still there to continue to try and uh, uh, more closely resemble uh, uh, the high ideals uh, of our of our founding fathers. Right, right. Now, I thought it was interesting that, that Branch Rickey's story was uh, so prominent in, in this movie also, because I mean, you always think about the obstacles that Jackie went through, and a lot of people know those, and a lot of people will learn from this movie. But no, nobody, I don't think, a lot of people don't take into account the obstacles that Branch Rickey himself had to do to go, to go through this. Well, I think, you know, that's, it's all in aid of recognizing that uh, this, that in history and life, you know, that's the alliance of human beings that allows uh, uh, us to reach our ambitions. And uh, these two guys had an emotional understanding that, uh, uh, that helped them both reach their ambition. And that's the humanity of the story as much as anything else. I love I love the the textures of the story, the humanity, the love story, the inspiration of it, and I love all the characters that you've done. But you also got some other movies coming out. I know Anchorman's coming. I'm excited to see you in that. <laughs> and everybody, all the fans have been writing me about. You got to talk to him about possible return to Episode Seven of Star Wars. Is there any more word? I know Lucas has confirmed they'll be in it, but you you have any idea how the character is going to play out and if Billy D's going to be there also? Mm hmm. Um, yeah. Okay, sure. we'll say that for the next interview. <laughs> but thanks, man. Great movie. It's one of the, the not, like I say, it's the best character I've seen you play with. It. I definitely loved, you know, you diving into that character physically and, and delivering it. So thank you thank for you. a great performance. Thank you. Appreciate it.